Hi, we're Greg and Lucy, and we're ex-7 Droog members. Your leaders have tasked us with telling you about the six knot challenge. We're first going to teach you how to tie six different knots. And then you need to film yourself tying all six. Fastest time wins. Okay guys, so for these challenges you can use any rope laying around the house. It could be string or... Even a shoelace. So the first knot we're going to tie is the figure of eight. And it's a knot that we tie at the end of the rope as a stopper knot. So first, you're going to make an alien head. You're going to strangle him with his own arm. And then you're going to poke him in the eye and tighten it up. And you'll see that it looks like a number eight. Okay guys, the next knot I'm going to show you is the reef knot. We use this to tie two pieces of rope that are the same thickness together. First things first, you go left over right and then under. And then we go right over left and under and pull it tight. To check that we've tied it right, we can push it together and it comes apart easy. The next knot is the sheet bend. This is again used to tie two ends of rope, but this time of different thicknesses. The first step in our thicker rope, we have to take a bite. This is simply folding the rope like so. We then take our thinner rope and we go up and around the outside coming towards us and making sure we go in between both of the rope tails. We carry on going all the way around the knot and then if you look, these two pieces of rope here are touching. We need to pull and make a little gap and that's where we go through. The next knot is a clove hitch and this is used to lash rope to a pole or a post. And first of all, you need to know that this is the free end of the rope and this is the fixed end of the rope. So we're gonna use the free end to go over and around the pole. And then we're going to make a cross on the pole. We're gonna bring that free end back round and follow it along the fixed end, the way that we just came and pull it tight to form a clove hitch. The next knot is a round turn and two half hitches. This is another knot used to secure rope to posts and poles, but it's a bit more secure than the clove hitch and it can be undone under pressure. So we're gonna take our free end and we're going to do a full round turn around our pole. So that's only half, so we need to take it even further round to a full round turn. And then we need to do our two half hitches. So we take our free end, put it over the fixed end of the rope, find our hole, bring it underneath the fixed end of the rope and pull it tight. And then we're gonna do the same thing again. So the free end over the fixed end and bring it underneath and through the hole. So that's your round turn and two half hitches. Okay, the final knot that we have for you today is the bowline. This is used to make a loop in the, in the end of a rope. What we do, first things first, is we make a small loop. The most important thing about this whole knot is that the fixed end is underneath in this loop. We then either go around whatever we want our loop to go around, or we can make our loop like this. So I'm gonna go around this pole for this example. We then take our free end and go up the loop we made earlier, around our fixed end, underneath our fixed end, and then back down the loop the way that we came up it. Then to tighten it, you take the bit that went up the loop and down the loop and the fixed end, pull it nice and tight. Okay, so now you've seen all of the knots, we look forward to seeing your submissions to the six knot challenge. Good luck.